Okay, I hope you guys can see that. I've got two videotapes here. I'm going to show you how to destroy them and why and all that gibberish. Um, basically, what it's like the discs. If you have personal information or videos on here and you want to get rid of them, it's, it's nice to take off whatever, like, like for example, um, this one's the Halloween, the making of the Halloween movie that was on TV or whatever. It's the making and my favorite, 4 and 5. But I have those on DVD so I don't need it on here. But I don't it sell this because that's illegal. I don't want to give it away because I don't know anybody with a VCR and plus that's just dumb. I don't want to just throw it away. Because if somebody comes across it in the trash or, it, like I said, on the floppies, they could pick it up and go, Ooh, what's this? Let me get a VCR machine. They're cheap now these days. Let's pop this. Ooh, it's the Halloween movie, you know. And if they have a system like we used to have, we can take VHS tapes and record them off of the other VHS tapes. But now it's, you could take the VHS tapes and put them onto DVD then they don't, you know, have, you know, then they just got something free. And that's kind of stupid. And all they had to pay for was the DVD record or recorder thing. Basically, you got this thing here. That indicates that you can record onto this thing. But you can also take what's on here and put it on DVD if you have that system. If you cannot do that, if this part right here is not in there and it's gone, you can fix that. You take up tape. I would show you, but I don't have a these uh tape a, 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 a VHS tape with that missing to show you. But what you do and you can do this for cassette tapes as well so you can record onto them. You take a little bit of tape, you wad it up like a little ball to fill it in in the inside. Then you take regular tape and you put it on top of that. Then you can take what's on that VHS and put it onto DVD. And you can record over that VHS. Now, what I do with these VHS tapes is I take off all labels because I like to keep them to remember what I used to record back in the day. But sometimes they come off like this one did. So I take a picture of it just to be on the safe side. And plus, the reason why I want to do that is because I don't want someone going, Oh my god, it's the Halloween, um, 4 and 5. I just gotta have, oh my god, they tore it up and, and cut the little black thing. But I can fix that. Or, or, you take this part off, and they're like, oh, I can fix that. And they take off the, this part, and then they just cut it, and then go, okay, done. No, all they gotta do with that cut part is put it back together and tape it on one side, and boom, it's fixed. Because I had a VHS tape way back when of the Babysitter's Club, or not the Babysitter's Club. Don't tell mom the babysitter's dead. It was one of my favorites at the time. It's not my favorite now, but it was back in the day. And I was so pissed, because I watched it a lot, that it broke. And I didn't know what to do, and I was mad. And then another one, VHS broke, and I didn't know the one that broke was, I don't remember. And I was pissed, and I was like, I'm not, you know what, I'm going to fix that. If I can fix that, because... You know, when a cassette music tape breaks, you can tape that too, and boom, it works. Yeah, you have that little glitch right there, but at least it works for the rest of the, the thing. So, that's what I did. And you can't even tell. As long as you don't put tape on both sides, you only put tape on one side, you can tell, you can't tell on when you play it that you had to fix it so you don't want someone doing that that knows how to do all that 
So this is what I do, and I forgot again the goddamn scissors. So yeah, let me run and go get scissors real quick because they're not even in this goddamn room. Because I'm an idiot. There is two. There is two ways you can do this. You can tear it with your fingers to get your fingers all black, or you can tear it or cut it with scissors. I'm not going to show you how to do the whole thing because that will take a long time, but I'm going to show you how to get started with it. So basically, and as you can see here, it's, it's about to tear, but you want to take, now this one doesn't have any writing, so you don't have to worry about it, but you're going to want to take this part off so after you destroy it, people won't, and, and if you want to get in the inside of these, you can also get your tools out if you really want to go to this far and you see like right here there's screws you can unscrew those and then you can use those screws for something else you have free screws for something else and then you can get into the inside and get these wheels out and then you can tear them up better but I don't got time for that shit so how do you take these off when they do stuff like this and like that well I'll tell you you start with the corner now, okay you see you start with the corner like this see how I got it here and then you just pull now you either it'll pull the whole thing or it'll pull just half like that and then you just keep doing that until it's where you like it to be if that don't work, you can always take scissors. And you can take one side of it. And you can do this. And scratch it. And then you can do it like that with your fingers. We'll clean all that up later. And then they, it's unreadable. You really can't read it. Now, let's get to the version of sense. Now, how do you get this off? Because it doesn't move. Well, there's a thing right here on this side. There's a button. You pull it. You push it. Pull this down. Then you take one side. Can you see? Then you take one of these sides. Pull it like that. And then... See, to get this to go back and forth, you have, oops, sorry, to get this to go back and forth, you have something in there. So you just yank it out like this until it, until you hear that break. So you just, boom. Now that part is gone. It's broken. It doesn't matter because you're not going to use it. This part you can just toss in the garbage. Now you have the reason this part. Now you can either pull it like this until it breaks or you can use scissors down the middle or wherever try to make sure you can see this and then you can pull and you just keep pulling and then after so many okay so you got a lot of tape right here right you don't want to just leave all that tape because they can just round this back round the thing take this go like this and tape it up and boom so you're going to want to cut it and you're going to want to cut it different lengths different sizes and just throw it in the garbage okay and then you just keep pulling doing the same thing and yes you may get black fingers doing it but at least and you can do this for for cassette tapes too you just keep doing it until the thing gets stuck inside of here for the cassette tapes if you want me to do a cassette tape if let me know in the comments down below and I'll do that one too if I can find one to do then you can and and then once it gets stuck inside here no you know people are not gonna wanna go oh I wanna see what's on this tape there's a lot in there I'm going to go through and unscrew and 
take this apart and bloom, bloom, bloom. People are not going to want to do that. That's just not how they are. They're, they'd be lazy to do that and not want to take time unless they're really desperate. But if you pull it to hand, it will pull. Sorry. Didn't mean to do that to you. It'll pull and then you see you get all these black marks when you do that. Can you see? Hope you can see that. If not, I'm sorry. Because I'm trying to look at the camera and make sure you guys can see shit. Now you're probably like, oh, it's gone. It disappeared. Yeah, it's inside here. See? It's inside this little part. And I'm not going to try to open this and get it out. So I just do it until it's too hard and it won't let me anymore. And then I'll just, if it won't tear, then I'll cut it right down here. Just like that. And then it's gone. And people can try to go like this, try to go like that, try to get it out. But if it's really hard inside there, then you don't need to do that. So I got lucky with this one and it didn't pull as much. So I'm going to do this one too and see if I can pull more out so you can kind of see that a lot does come out. See? Just depends on how far you've, you've used this tape, like if you rewinded it, fast forward it, you know, stuff like that. So you take this off, just like I showed you. Sometimes this part will, will come out. So just be careful and just throw it away, just so you know. So just be careful. Sometimes it'll come out, sometimes it won't. It just depends on the tape. Then I'm just going to cut the tape. I like doing it down the middle so I can just go. Okay, I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. Sorry. I'm just going to do that. Make sure you wash your hands when you're done because of all the black marks you're getting. This looks like a lot's gonna come out, so I'm just gonna cut that in a couple of spots and just throw it over there. And then I'm gonna do it again. Looks like it doesn't want to anymore. It did that motion, and that's unfixable. It really is, and that's a good thing because it's unfixable. So these two, we got lucky. And it didn't want to keep pulling and pulling and pulling. Because it can hurt your fingers the more you do it. Your fingers can hurt from, from it. You can see there how it how it pulled. Because there's a lot there. But yet. It's probably unusable. You probably can't fix that. So that is how you fix that. Or fix that. That's how you break it if you really want to. Just for YouTube fun. You can always get a hammer and go BAM! 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 And bust it, the windows, and then bust inside here. Just for funsies, you can do all that sorts of stuff. So I hope this is a helpful tip for you guys, and I hope this helps you out. And I hope you get... And plus it's satisfying. So I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. And if you do this, let me know in the comments down below. Um, just never be like that person at Savers last week, a couple weekends ago, when they decided, hey, I'm going to do something stupid, and I'm going to sell a, a copy of a movie and for three bucks when it's illegal. Even people selling them at garage sales and stuff. You're not supposed to resell DVDs and stuff. That's illegal. But people do it. And people buy them. And police officers don't, don't do anything about it. But it is illegal to copy a, a movie onto a DVD and sell it. You have to have the actual case and stuff to sell it, basically. 
I, I, I guess. I don't know. I'm not really sure how it all works. I just know you can't do that one part. Anyway, I'll stop jibber-jabbing, and I'll see you later. Later!